Coffee Dog here. Welcome to Saturday for the Rough Cuts. I am going to be reviewing an awesome, awesome action film today. It is called District B-13. Um, it is a French film, rated R, runs about an hour and 25 minutes, and I first saw this film, District B-13, um, at a uh, small little uh, theater God, over a hundred years old this theater is. It's called the Tivoli. It's in St. Louis. It's like one of the landmark theaters. And uh, I was just down there uh, walking on the loop uh, with a few friends. And uh, me and um, someone else, decided, one of my other friends, decided to go just check out a movie that was playing there because it sounded like a cool action flick. And uh, it just blew my mind. I couldn't believe how good it was. I couldn't believe how I'd never heard of it. I mean, obviously it's French, but... Um, and then I still can't believe how a lot of people don't know about it. Um, written, um, 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 I gotta quit saying that, sorry. Written by Luke Besson, who has written a lot of, uh, he's written a lot of action films, if you look him up online, um, over here in the States, and B.B. Nasseri, I don't know who that is, and I don't know that she's done a whole lot. Directed by Pierre Moore, who also did Taken with Liam Neeson, and that movie kind of blew up for a while. A lot of people uh, really got into it, did a lot better at the box office than what they expected. The plot, it's basically, I call it the double dragon plot. Like, it's got a lot of transporter type action, and it's about uh, double dragons, two brothers, but it's about two people that team up to break into this impenetrable war zone, kind of. It's uh, basically set in the future, Paris, France, like the near future, and there is a zoned-off area that the government is zoned off just because it's so, like, violent, and you, you just can't survive in there because people are so vicious, and there's gangs everywhere, and all kinds of drug dealing going on and everything, and uh, this guy's sister gets kidnapped. He gets wrongly accused for a crime, going to jail. His sister gets kidnapped by the leader of this whole area, so he's got to break back in, but to do so, like, to do so, he teams up kind of with a cop that also needs to get in the area to defuse a bomb. So, did I say that right? Defuse? Defuse? Defuse. Defuse. I don't know. I don't know what's right in that situation. Maybe a little bit of coffee will help. Defuse. The bomb. Okay, so they've got to team up and break in there and save the day, whatever. Here's uh, the stars, Cyril Raffaelli, I think he plays the cop. He is a big stunt guy in all kinds of films. Like, his name has been attached to a lot of movies, especially if they're action. And David Bell. Apparently, doing research on him, I found out that uh, he is credited for creating the art of parkour. Now, I don't know much about parkour. I don't even know much about my pronunciation of parkour, if it's correct or not. But that's where, you know, people are jumping off the walls and flipping off of buildings. I know The Office did a spoof on it. Uh, it's really cool to see, but I thought that was forever old. I don't know. Maybe he's just got a certain style. Maybe he coined it. Maybe he named it parkour. Uh, but he's credited for that. And I will say, he's a badass. From the very beginning of this movie, like opening scene... The stunts that he's doing, and the, the way he's trying to get away from a group of thugs. Unbelievable! I've not seen anything, like, oh man, Jackie Chan would be applauding him. 20-year-old Jackie Chan would be like, man, that guy is a badass. And one of the awesome things about this movie, 90% wire-free. They said, like, 10% of the stunts, they had to use some form of wire for safety, but 90%... Uh, no wire at all, and they are doing some crazy shit. I mean, jumping off the buildings from one balcony all the way into a lower balcony, flipping through these windows. Like, a lot of the fighting, there's not even as much fighting. The cop guy tends to fight quite a bit, but this other guy, the brother of the girl, he just, as soon as somebody comes, he just wants to get, he'll hurt you if he can, but he just wants to get away from you. And uh, the ways he goes about doing it, incredible. I mean, the whole time I was watching this, just on the edge of my seat. I really enjoyed it. Eating some popcorn, drinking a beer in the theater. Uh, it is, so, when I saw it in the theater, it was subtitled. The DVD, um, it has two options. You could either do the subtitled, or you could, while they speak French, or you could do the, uh, the American dubbed. And I totally support the subtitle. Do not do American dubbed. I have never seen any film where American dubbed works. 
unless it's like as a joke. And uh, so don't do that. So District B13, yeah, great movie. I can't say enough about it. I think it's awesome. And there is a sequel. It's called uh, uh, District 13 Ultimatum. Uh, that came out around 2008 or 9. I haven't seen that yet. I really want to see it just because I loved this one so much. I've been waiting to find it on sale under 10 bucks. Uh, the only places I found it are like 14. Um, but if you want a cool action movie, you don't really need to pay attention to what they're saying as much anyway. Um, if you really, yeah, no, I'm not, you gotta do the subtitles. So just plan on doing the subtitles. And, uh, Get a group of buddies together and watch this, or uh, chicks, get a group of chicks together if you're a girl that loves action flicks, and check out District B13. Uh, check out the other Rough Cutters, and let us know how we're doing. Tell me about some of your favorite action films, and uh, what you thought of this one, and I'll see you next Saturday. Coffee Doug. Thank you.